Okay, so check out how free this converter sets up in this transmission up against the flex plate. You see that there? That's what we call ringing the bell on a Ford. When you get that converter in there the way it's supposed to be, that's what it's going to sound like. Hi right, guys, we're going to put this torque converter in this 4R70W transmission. This is a Ford F-150 with the 5.4, uh, 4.6 engine. Um, what we got, we re we're replacing the uh, torque converter, and when you do that, you'll want to uh, put you about a half quart of fluid down in there to uh, soak your bearings and the torque converter clutch and all that. So uh, make sure you go ahead and do that before you start to install it. Another thing you'll want to do, make sure that you check that flex plate and make, make sure that there's no cracks in it. They are known for cracking right in those areas I got pointed out there. This would also be a good time to check the teeth on the flex plate. Uh, I have seen those where just three to four, maybe five of the teeth were sheared off uh, on the back side toward the starter. So it's a good time to check that and make sure that you don't have any issues in that area either. All right, guys, so, uh, let's install this converter. I'm gonna get you some measurements so you'll know how far that you need this back in there. Some of these slide right in, some of them don't. Sometimes you gotta really work at it to get it back in that pump gear. Um, knowing where it goes and what it sounds like when it does go in. It's not all the way back now and I know that. Just keep watching here so that you can see. And then I'll get you some measurements. There it is. That's all the way back. That's how it's going to sound when it goes all the way back. Sometimes they'll slide back in there a little slower than that, depending on the bushing and how new the bushing is or uh, how tight the bushing sits against the, uh, uh, against the converter neck. But anyway, that's, where, uh, that's the way you want it, and that's where you want it at when it goes all the way back. Let me get some uh, measurements here. in here zoom in there okay so you can see we're right at about an inch and a quarter and uh, and you'll know uh, that that's that's going to be really close um, as far as like if, if you're not back in that pump it's about an inch and an eighth if you're not all the way back in that pump gear, this is gonna be sticking way out there. It's gonna be way less than, than an inch and an eighth. So that inch and an eighth will give you an idea of, uh, of where you're supposed to be with this torque converter. And this is on a Ford F-150 and this is a 4R70W. Okay, so what you're looking at is the torque converter hole in the flex plate. Make sure that it's not oblong or wore out right there because I have seen people have trouble with those and they mess those holes up. Just check those. Okay, one last thing is dial pins. Let's make sure the dial pins are in that engine. And uh, I have another video on uh, dial pins not being in the engine. You might want to watch that video if you haven't seen it and why it's crucial for them to be in there. Uh, I hope you like this video. This is Codeman's Auto and please subscribe.